What is going on, everybody, you beautiful, beautiful people? Good day and greetings. We have a big surprise today. We have, it is a tin, but we have the Galarian Moltres tin. Which apparently has five Crown Zenith booster packs in it. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video than usual for me. But we're going to go ahead and crack this open and check this tin out. All right, here we go. Slowly open it. Okay. Grab the code card out of there as well. Throw that on the ground. All right, we have this beautiful card. Galarian Moltres. The sinister aura that blazes like molten fire around this Pokemon is what inspired name Moltres. So, yeah, you know the deal. That's going in a sleeve because it is a beautiful card. All right. And then we have five packs of Crown Zenith. Zenith, Zenith. Nothing extra in the tin. Okay. Let's... I think these are my first packs of Crown Zenith. So, like with all of them... All stars from Galar, Hisui, and beyond. The legendary heroes Zacian and Zamazenta shine with new V Star powers. And an all star assembly of Pokemon and trainers arrive to celebrate the era of Pokemon V. Discover dazzling special illustrations in the Galarian Gallery and wield the strength of rare and powerful Pokemon, including Charizard, as both a Pokemon V Star and Radiant Pokemon. Many more Pokemon have their own tales to tell in battle, as the Sword and Shield series teaches its towering peak in the Pokemon TCG Crown Zenith expansion. All right, so let's see here. Do 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 do. One hundred and sixty cards. One hundred and sixty. That's a pretty good uh, set. So there are going to be many many cards that we probably will not see. Hopefully, you know, technically we have fifty cards, so hopefully we don't see any duplicates. That would be extremely awesome to do galarian meowth living with a savage seafaring people has toughened this pokemon's body so much that parts of it have turned to iron whalmer it shows off by spraying jets of seawater from its the nostrils above its eyes it eats a solid ton of wishy-washy every day. Shinx. All of it fur dazzles if danger is sensed. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. That is very cute artwork. That's gonna go right, 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 right here. Cute, meh, and then like, you know, good cards. Uh, Larvesta. The people of ancient times believed the Larvesta fell from the sun. Oh, it's so tiny. That's a cute one. That's going. Oh, Oddish. If exposed to moonlight, it starts to move. It room roams far and wide at night to scatter its seeds. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Volcanion. That is a mean looking Pokemon. It expels. It's eternal steam from the arms on its back. It has enough power to blow away a mountain. That's really cool. I like that one. Tauros. When Tauros begins whipping itself with its tails, it's a warning that the Pokemon is about to charge with astounding speed. 
Then we have an energy card. And we have Shaman. That is awesome. I really like this one. The blooming of Gracita flowers confers the power of flight upon it. Feelings of gratitude are the message it delivers. Crushing Hammer. Carnivine. It binds itself to trees in marshes. It attracts prey with a sweet-smelling drool that gulps them down. Alright, so, looking at this one, it is a Reverse Hollow Rare, so that's, that's a pretty good card. I, I'm glad that I was able to at least get that. These ones are just... I, I really like the artwork on these ones. Shaman is like Shaman and Shanks, I think, are definitely like my favorite for artwork. Just to, because of how cute those are. And then Oddish and Larvesta, those are pretty cute too. All right, next pack. Let's see what we can pull. So far, we are 0, 0 for 1. So let's, let's see if we can get something good here. All right, we have Yanma starting it off with. If it flaps its wings really fast, it can generate shockwaves that will shadow window windows in the area. Ponyard. It uses river stones to maintain the cutting edges of the blades covering its body. These sharpened blades allow it to bring down opponents. That's pretty cool. Bidoof. It constantly gnaws. Oh yeah, I already read that one. Potion. Galarian Mr. Mime. It can radiate chilliness from the bottoms of its feet. It'll spend the whole day tap dancing on a frozen floor. Ooh, okay, here we go. We have a etched holographic full art, it looks like. I actually don't know if it is or not, but it is a V-Star Simisir. Simisir V-Star. So that one's going in a sleeve. For Oh! Dead gum! All right, here we go. So we have Simisir V-Star and a Regigigas V holographic. That is an awesome pull we have of course the steel type energy we have basharp it's accompanied by a large retinue ret ret huh. retinue of poniard basharp keeps a keen eye on its minions ensuring none of them even think of double crossing it Graveler. It travels by rolling down cliffs. If it falls into a river, it will explode with a last gasp. And Pokemon Catcher. Okay. These cards here are going in sleeves and going in top loaders. Boop. And you know what? This Moltres, it's going in a top loader. Because that is just, even if I don't get it graded, that is just a gorgeous looking card. And then, of course, Regigigas V. That is awesome. Two, well, in my opinion, two great pulls. I don't know what they're worth, how rare they are, or anything like that. But the fact that I got a V star and a V, I mean, you can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I feel like that is. An extremely lucky pull. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I got three packs left. Do you guys think I can, you know, get another good pull like that? Do you think I might be able to get these chart that radiant Charizard or or anything like that? Let me know. All right, here we go. We have a love disc. Love Disc makes its home in coral reefs, in warm seas. It especially likes sleeping in the space between Corsola's branches. Chatot. It can learn and speak human words. If they gather 
they all learn the same saying. And then there's Yanma, and there's Ponyard, there's Bidu So much for my theory on not getting duplicates, it. Ooh, Reverse Heliolisk. That's cool. I like that. A now vanished desert culture treasured these Pokemon appropriately when Heliolisk came to the Galar region, treasure came with them. That is really cool. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. I feel like like there's a line that runs across the bottom of this in the the hollow in the holographic. That's an interesting one. Ooh. There we go. We have a holographic Mewtwo, a Pokemon created by recombining Mew's genes. It is said to have the most savage heart among Pokemon. Ooh. I like that. That's cool. And then we have the grass energy. And we have a rare candy. And we have Luxio. By joining its tail with that of another Luxio, this Pokemon can receive some of the other Luxio's electricity and power up it, its own electric blasts. And then we have Electric. These Pokemon have a big appetite. When they spot their prey, they attack it and paralyze it with electricity. Right. Go ahead and sleeve these ones up. Yeah, I don't know if you... I still... I don't know if you can see it here on the camera. Uh, I don't think it's going to show up on the camera. But I swear, there is a line. Very faint line that runs across the entire span of the card in the hollow foil. I don't know. If, if if that's an error, is that worth sending in? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We got two more packs left. Two more packs and still just that one really good pack. So, uh, you know, one more would be awesome. Two more would be fantastic. But I'm not going to try to get too greedy. We got Tangela. Hidden beneath, a tangle of vine that grows non-stop. Even if the vines are torn off, this Pokemon's true appearance remains a mystery. Baltoy. It was discovered in ancient ruins. While moving it, it constantly spins. It stands on one foot even when asleep. Galarian Meowth. Wilmer, Shinx. Oh, there we go. Radiant Charizard. There is another amazing pull. Okay, I'm so excited. It spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders. It may cause forest fires by blowing flames. Such a letdown. We go from a Radiant Charizard to a non-hollow Executor. Each of Executor's three heads is thinking different thoughts. The three don't seem to be very interested in one another. We have an Electric Energy. Friends in Hisui. Sh another Shaman. And another Crushing Hammer. Alright, one more pack. Let's see here. So, so far, we have a Radiant Charizard. Oh, come on. There we go. We have a Radiant Charizard. We have a Regigigas V and a Simisir V Star, all from this 110. We still have one pack left to go. Can we get another amazing pull? Or is it just going to be standard? 
reverse hollow, non hollow, rare. Let's see. So we have in the beginning a young goose. Let me get rid of that card there. Our young goose. Although it will eat anything, it prefers fresh living things. So it marches down streets in search of prey. Ch okay, I'm going to say Cherubi? Cherub Cherubi? The deeper a Cherubi's red, the more nutrients it has stockpiled in its body. And the sweeter and tastier its small ball. Execute. Though it may look like just a bunch of eggs, it's a proper Pokemon. Execute communicates with other kinds, others of its kind via te telepathy, apparently. Rockruff. This Pokemon can bond very strongly with its trainer, but it also has a habit of biting. Raising a Rockruff for a long time can be challenging. Ah! Ah! You didn't see it! I didn't see it! I, I actually didn't see it. It was a reverse hollow. That's all I saw. I don't know what it was. Purloin. It steals things from people just to amuse itself with their frustration. A rivalry exists between this Pokemon and Nigget. Sounds like trouble. And we have a reverse hollow energy retrieval. That's pretty cool. And here we go. This is it. Do we get another special pull? Or is this it for our luck? Then that is it for our luck. This is Yan Mega. This six legged Pokemon is easily capable of transporting an adult in flight. The wings on its tail help it stay balanced. Followed by an energy card. And then Gloom, this art looks very particular. Its pistols exude an extremely foul odor. The horrid stench can cause fainting at a distance of 1.25 miles. And we have a great ball and another graveler. All right. So all in all, you know, we only had two good packs. But I feel like those two packs were straight up bangers. I mean, we got these chaps. You got the promo card from the get-go. You know, and we also got some, we got a reverse hollow rare. We got a hollow rare, which probably isn't that special. We got another reverse hollow rare and a reverse hollow common. I feel like this ratio is very, very beneficial. If you guys disagree with me, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this where I open packs or videos where I go through my collection of Pokemon cards, go ahead and click that follow button, click that subscribe button, and I will see you next time, you beautiful people. Bye!